Hi, I'm Dr. Tan Mai from Insight Vision Center Optometry. This video is about what to expect when you're doing your corner cross linking. Usually what happens is you arrive at the office and you'll of course chat with the doctor, do some initial testing like your visual acuities, etc. And then from then on, you'll get your first eye drops. The first eye drop is going to be a numbing drop. The numbing eye drop is potentially your favorite part of the whole procedure because you won't feel anything at all the moment they put in the eye drops. Next, what they'll do is they'll actually scrape off a layer of the front part of the eye called the cornea called the epithelium. Currently in the United States, the only FDA approved procedure for corner cross linking is called epithelium off or epi off. The reason why they remove that layer is so that when they are adding the riboflavin and, and, and shining the ultraviolet light, that it penetrates the cornea deeper so it's more effective. So it's called epi off for that reason. After they remove the epithelium, a doctor or a technician will be applying riboflavin eye drops. When they put in the riboflavin eye drops, the minute they put it on, you'll see a bunch of yellow orange color right away. It's kind of like a yellowish color. So expect things to just look different the moment they put it in. Uh, you'll usually be lying down flat as they put in these eye drops and you'll be looking straight up um, the whole time. They'll be doing eye drops continually over the course of time, sometimes over like half an hour or so. Afterwards, they'll shine a ultraviolet light on your eye. That ultraviolet light activates the riboflavin to help the cornea cross-link. That cross-linking is what helps the cornea become a little bit stronger. So ideally, it doesn't change shape as much anymore. With keratoconus, usually the cornea keeps bulging forward and changing shape. By doing this riboflavin and then shining this ultraviolet light on the eye, it kind of locks it in place afterwards. So it doesn't progress as much anymore. After the procedure is done, they might just rinse your eyes with some saline and then they'll apply a bandaged soft contact lens onto the eye. The bandaged contact lens is, is for two reasons. It's to help cover the eye so nothing rubs up against it. And it's also to help to minimize the pain afterwards. Now know that after the numbing drop wears off, there will be some pain. And ideally, if your doctor has given you a prescription for pain medication, let's say it's an ibuprofen, ideally try to fill that prescription before you get the procedure done. Because if you get it done afterwards, and let's say it takes the pharmacy a few hours to get you the drugs, you might have a pretty uncomfortable time waiting for that period, for waiting for the medication. Know that when we talk to patients about corner cross sticking and we ask them how painful it is, they usually say it feels as if they got hot sauce in their eye. I won't lie, um, you're gonna have a, a, a bad night at least, or even about a weekend after corner cross thinking. It's not gonna feel very good, usually because of that scraping they had to do to remove the epithelium. You'll wanna keep the bandage contact lens on the entire time until the cornea heals. And you'll also wanna apply antibiotic eye drops onto the eye as well to prevent possible infections. That recaps the entire sequence of corneal cross linking. You'll usually see the doctor at least one day afterwards to see how things are going. Some doctors might see you a day afterwards and just a week afterwards. And from then on, every clinic might be different in terms of how often they see you afterwards and how much they co-manage with you, maybe even with your uh, optometrist or between the optometrist and the ophthalmologist. But usually it involves a few days of active care and you'll be on medication for at least a week after the procedure. Um, to manage the pain, manage the uh, you know, antibiotics, wait for the corner to heal. Hope this is helpful, um, but just know that overall, the overall benefits to corner crossing far away those inconveniences and the risks. The main reason why we do a corner cross linking is that it has been shown to slow down the progression of keratoconus. And the younger you are, the more important it is to get it done early.